wildlife needs your support. In particular, if you live in suburban or urban areas and communities here around Charlotte, we need to increase the amount of awareness by educating all those who don't recognize the great value that wildlife brings to our communities. So this video is here to share with you some of those values and to encourage you to join with us in educating our community. What's so important about this is the recognition that nature is certainly in the wilderness, nature is in the mountains, the forests, the national parks, the wetlands, but nature is also where we live, where we work, where we play, where we learn, where we worship. Hello and welcome. My name is Ernie McClaney. I'm the president of Crown, the Charlotte chapter of the North Carolina Wildlife Federation, which is a state affiliate of the National Wildlife Federation. We're here on a tributary of Four Mile Creek to share with you information about why it's important that we protect and preserve quality habitats such as this in an urban and suburban setting. We're gonna also share information about how you can do the same in your property, in your backyard. We're also gonna talk about how you can get involved with Crown and the North Carolina Wildlife Federation. To be able to live and to uh, be able to sustain ourselves with the wildlife around us. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing to observe wildlife and to see it grow in nature. Our kids are spending less time in the out of doors. We need to reconnect our kids with wildlife. There's some good momentum in our school district with uh, community gardens in the schools and with partnerships between the parks and the schools. And um, I hope that this will just kind of give more momentum to that because that's what we need for kids to be really healthy and to thrive. We're getting so encroached upon with building and development that we really need to each one of us think about our spaces, provide something for wildlife. It is a pretty simple process to provide those elements needed to create a backyard wildlife habitat. They consist basically of four things. They are food, water, cover, and places to raise young. And the process in providing those is not structured. You can do those in any order, in any speed, based on your personal budget. Um, those are the things that wildlife has to have in place to feel like they are in a natural setting where they can raise a family safely. And in doing so, in doing, making those simple changes in your landscape, you are qualified to certify your property as a wildlife habitat with the National Wildlife Federation. And if you need additional help with that, we have a number of resources on the Crown website. It's uh, crowncharlotte.org. We have information you can download. Uh, we have uh, areas where you can post questions uh, and we'll answer you. We'll even come out and talk to your group, to your uh, garden club, to your school, to your uh, church group, whatever, and help you understand the, uh, the details and answer any questions you might have. I've worked since 1969 on wildlife issues that impact uh, hunters and anglers. And one day my wife, who's a birder, said, you know, you may ought to pay some attention to things that are right here in the backyard. So we certified our backyard. Uh, to see the Charlotte certified as, a, uh, wild, as an urban wildlife habitat area is just music to my heart. As the, as our urban environment spreads wider and wide, wider, I'm just thrilled that people are paying attention to wildlife habitats in their backyards and in their communities. We need to look at our wildlife and say this is a natural resource that we have to guard, protect, and let propagate. Having that turtle in the backyard, having a bird with a nest, having a rabbit with a hole, these are wonderful things that we can all do by putting out natural trees, native trees to this area by putting out water and by supplementing food when it's hard times for our, our friendly wild pets. Hi, I'm Mother Nature and it's good to have everyone involved in keeping Mother Nature's planet beautiful and you can do this by finding ways in your own community, at your own home, to create spots of nature and beautify our world.
The Crown Chapter is made up totally of volunteers, and we extend an invitation to you to get involved in whatever capacity your time allows. That could be one hour a week, it could be three hours a month, and the areas we need help with include our website maintenance, our blogs, setting up our meetings, and community outreach. Some of the programs we've had in the past include topics on creating a backyard wildlife habitat, we've had topics on raptors, uh, turtles, coyotes, pollinators, native plants, and those topics we want to expand on and invite you to get involved to help us do that. One of the ways you can contact us is through our website, crowncharlotte.org. And while you're there, sign up for our email. And in closing, I'd like to thank you for taking a few minutes to look at this video. And we're going to give you a glimpse at the ceremony events uh, that took place in our celebration, being certified as a wildlife-friendly community by the National Wildlife Federation in Marshall Park, Charlotte, North Carolina. Thank you. Across the entire city, more than 900 people have certified their backyards with the National Wildlife Federation and the North Carolina Wildlife Federation. The habitat they're creating will help monarchs and other butterflies, it'll help native bees, it'll help birds, it'll help reptiles, it'll help amphibians, really provide a, a range of wildlife with the, the type of habitat they need to thrive. And we are so proud of what's happened here in Charlotte. And the reason that we're so proud is that we can, sh we can show what a big city, you know, in a city with a strong economy, um, can really do for wildlife at the same time. We hope to take the lessons here across the entire state of North Carolina, um, and frankly, across the entire country. So again, we are so proud of Crown, the North Carolina Wildlife Federation, and the city of Charlotte for being a national leader for wildlife. The National Wildlife Federation recognizes the certification of community wildlife habitat Charlotte, North Carolina. This community has taken exceptional action in preserving, <coughs> enhancing, and restoring wildlife habitat and communicating the importance of habitat steward to the entire public. <coughs> These efforts, made under the auspices of the National Wildlife Federation and the North Carolina Wildlife Federation Certified Wildlife Habitat Program, continue to establish a network of thriving communities where people, wildlife, and plants can all flourish together. We are so proud of Charlotte, North Carolina. Now, if we can culminate the certification with the unveiling of the official Community Wildlife Habitat sign at this juncture. <laughs> I want one of these on every street corner in Charlotte, North Carolina. Isn't that awesome? So every time you drive by wherever we put these in Charlotte, I want you to honk your horn. We love that uh, Charlotte is um, has decided that wildlife is important. That it's been um, a cause for many people for many years here. But it's nice to get the the local attention that it's getting now and the national attention that it's getting. I kayak. I ride my bicycle down the greenways, and I love going hiking in the woods. And I'm just amazed at when I'm out at Reedy Creek Park and I'm out hiking on the trails that I'm even in that I am even inside city limits. Why is it important to me that Char Charlotte, um, that we protect and provide habitat for wildlife in Charlotte? Well, Charlotte is the queen city and it, um, my, the most important reason is right here. My, my girls, my daughter and her friend. It's a great city. I'm really happy to see what we're doing to protect wildlife here. Um, Charlotte has great potential. We've added a lot of greenways. We're protecting outdoor space. And we're going to keep doing more to make sure our wildlife is protected here in our city. It's really important to learn about the solitary bees and the other pollinators and what type of habitat that they live in and need to survive because without them, we're not going to survive as a human species. I think the most important thing is uh, respect for the circle of life, that everything is connected and that if it gets out of balance that will impact our health and wellness. And so it's very important to have natural landscapes and wildlife habitats in our community. 
We are a part of the habitat and we need to protect those smaller creatures who can't protect themselves. Charlotte is the, the fifth most sprawling met, large metro area in the U.S. and as we continue to develop our land, we're taking away precious land from wildlife. And so we need to protect the land that we do have available and improve the quality of those habitats so that we can continue to provide uh, the homes that, that our native species need. It's important to keep wildlife very alive and around us in the Charlotte area because if the animals aren't going to be able to survive, how are we supposed to? We need nature to be in our lives. We need to face the challenge of the next generation. The challenges facing the folks now are big. You know, when you look at the number of species that are threatened or endangered, and the number that are kind of in the queue if we don't take action, it's a pretty overwhelming thing. 